you know... I didn't expect myself to actually post videos using my voice again. As I am hyper aware, some may call it paranoid, that the second people hear my voice, there's going to be a collective set of comments saying, Hey, I know you! You're that guy! I guess I'm starting to come to terms with that and doing things to protect my mental health. <laughs> things are getting better for me, I guess. <laughs> and I think my art has reflected that. All right, weird tangent aside, let's actually talk about what the title of this video actually is. My art style has changed a lot the past couple of years. It's still changing, as artists should do as they grow. Looking back on my older art and seeing the direction I'm taking, it just makes me want to scream it all out. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's start at the beginning. Oh god, I do not miss video scripting at all. <clears throat> In the meninging- Oh fuck! The only way I can describe my early art style is an artist trying to find themselves but not knowing what inspirations are what they actually like. Sound confusing? Uh, trust me, it is. <laughs> My main inspiration has been comic books ever since I started taking art more seriously than just a hobby. I went through the typical phases, mm, Sonic, anime, creepypasta. But once I started high school, I started shifting my interest into what I was reading and watching. Comic books and horror movies. In this case, superhero comics, Spawn being the first one I was ever invested in. I remember reading graphic novels when I was really little, mainly Bone, though superheroes had a style that my tiny little walnut brain just gravitated towards. As time progressed, I started to get mostly influenced by DC Comics. Chad Harden was one of the ones that stick out in my mind the most because of his fluent movement and his airbrush mixed with cell shading. And damn did I love that god forsaken airbrush! So to cut to the short of it, by 2021, I was in a slump, both mentally and creatively. I went through some shit and I felt lost in what I wanted to do, only having posted two chapters of my comic with no confidence in my style. I started moving towards more cell shading, which helped a lot, but there was still something missing. I wasn't happy. I wasn't drawing for the sake of making art. I would just do it just to get it done without actually looking back and thinking of ways I wanted to improve or what I could do differently. I was holding myself back. I would see other artists doing things I liked, but I would shoot myself down with the mindset of, you can't do that. Then a cartoon came back into my life a couple years before. One I can't show clips of cause I'll get copyright strike the second I even show- Danny Phantom. It, it, it's Danny Phantom. <laughs> I had watched the show practically twice and had become much happier doing so, but something still wasn't clicking. So one day, I just decided to get experimental. I created this piece around September 2021, using saturated purples and greens and coloring the line art. And most importantly, I made the line art bold and thick with three C's. Okay, but side note, can I just laugh at myself on how I would tell people I used bold black lines pre that year when this shit was teeny tiny because I was trying to be like popular artists who drew with these ungodly tiny lines. Yeah, I smack myself every night. <laughs> But funny enough, most of my inspirations now range from more stylized comics like Tank Girl, and now cartoons like, obviously, Danny Phantom, Arcane, Transformers, some Batman animated stuff, the list goes on. I've also been super inspired by a ton of artists on Instagram and Twitter. A few examples including Parallel, Owly Gem, Necromoss, Crossin, Abigail Larson, Darl's Draws, Ratrocity, just so many different artists, guys. I'll be sure to link all of these all of these ones I've mentioned. Honestly, if you just look at my following list on Twitter, it usually is a lot of artists that I find very, very inspiring. At that point, everything clicked, and I just kept doing it, again, and again, and again, and again, to this day. Look at these lines! Like, look at this one, oh my god, oh my lord, look at this one, oh, it's so good, this one, this one's so good, oh! Oh my god, I'm happy. That feels 
so hard after all this time. <laughs> so, what now? Well, as a small teaser for you all, I'm gonna go more in-depth on my process, as well as my comic process. Cause now that I'm happy... <laughs> I'm gonna show my art! Cause now I don't feel ashamed anymore. Self-discovery? Uh, I think so! Thanks for listening to my crazy ramblings. I'll be back... soon. <laughs>